Hello everybody and welcome back to the mega modded Dead God Plus Dead God Plus series. We are on a losing streak. Big heck, big heck. And this time we play as regular old Isaac. I guess so. I guess so. It's been a bit of time and I need a win. So starting with the D6 should hopefully help me with that. Anyways, anyways, how is everybody today? How is everybody today? Do you know what? Very glad that I have a bomb right now. Thank you, Spider. Very glad I have another bomb right now. This could be quite lucrative for us. This could be quite very good, or it could be kind of trash. To be fair, that's not terrible, but it's not great, especially getting um, a range down and one of those cardboard chests that usually contains a little less stuff in it. I mean, eh, it's not all bad. It's not all bad. Not all bad. For my question of the day today, what is the most recent fun activity that you did? What is the most recent thing that you did where you went out the house and did something fun? Whether that be with friends, with family, on your own, whatever. I've been, uh, I've, I've, I wouldn't say I've been doing a lot recently, but just like a few days ago, I, um, excuse me? Are you okay, sir? This enemy seems to be having issues. <laughs> he seemed to be like perpetually dying and alive, but the game didn't consider him alive, which was kind of strange to see. Um, <laughs> I've not seen that happen before, but I've not been doing a ton recently. Ooh, I love the cost in my bag. Um, I also love the way it makes his look as well. You look like an absolute cutie. Um, but yeah, I've not been doing a ton recently, but I did recently go out with a friend from work. I've actually known them for a very long time. It's someone that I've worked with for, I don't know how long now, like, um, how long is it now? Like, three? Getting on for three and a half years? Um, and I definitely, like, I've been out with them before, like, with groups of friends, but I've never been out with just them. And I'd never, it, like, he's been with his girlfriend, like, three years at this point, and I'd never met her. So, m me and my girlfriend and him and his girlfriend decided to, like, just go out. And it was genuinely one of the best nights out I've ever had in my life. It was so enjoyable. It was, like, I don't, it's just, it's just... I'm not a big sort of meeting new people sort of person, I'll admit. I'm not big into meeting new people if I don't have to, but it was really nice to meet a new person that I got along with really well. It just was. It was It was really, really nice. Holy hell, a dime right off the bat. And an IV bag right off the bat as well. Do you know, I might re-roll you. Give me time and I'll, I'll find out. I also, I might open that chest too. We'll see. Ah. I'm going to try and do the beast this time around, I think. I'll take another pill here. It's a look down. It's an absolute, absolute palooza of failure right now. Um, I could... Hmm. Wait, 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 wait. Let me, let me, let me do some digging first. Let me do some digging. So first of all, shop, are you useful? For one, you have a crawl space, which is a bit sad because we've already been to the crawl space. So that didn't really work out for me. I have to say, I do very much want this. I think getting a trinket right now, as well as getting a trinket spot, is pretty good. Randomly teleports you when using an item. <laughs> Funny. No. Uh, but, I think what I'm going to quickly do here is, for one, let's destroy these poops to try and get some extra hearts and maybe use some IV bag a little bit. Um, there's no chance of us getting a devil deal. I could reroll my boss item, but I think IV bag's way better for a reroll. I realise there is some boss items that are absolutely... Trash, trash. So I think one thing I should go and do here real quick is grab this. Excuse me. Grab this. Chunk it. Only one penny that time. Um, and I think I'm going to play a little bit risky here. And I'm going to crack this open. Hope I get some money. Didn't. And do it two more times. This is a this is a pretty strong risk. Because I say, I, I'd say it's a risk. It's more than a risk. Because those little chests seem to always pay out on seven. They never pay out any earlier. So let's see if we can actually find ourselves some more money first. Um, hmm. There isn't a keeper in here, which is concerning. Okay, let's just go and open it first, and we'll, we'll figure it out later. But yeah, it was, just a it was a really nice night out. Uh, went to a, a place near me called the Hip Hop Chip Shop, which is... For one, an absolutely fantastic name for a, for a fish and chip shop. But also, they sell some of the best fish and chips I've ever had in my entire life. Of course. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Yeah, they only ever pay out on seven now. But range down again. Stop. Let's pop that. Camo Undies, baby. Camo Undies is incredible now. Hell yes. So I'm, I'm going to come back this way. This might be a little bit of a waste of money, I'll admit. But I'm going to buy the heart just to ensure my safety. Because it could be a champion boss and I could get my absolute shit wrecked. Minus two streak isn't a good look. Isn't a good look when I'm meant to be good at this game. So I'm going to hold off on that for now. I'm just going to do a quick pause one second and check something. I knew it. I was looking at my volume mixer and could see my voice was a little quieter than normal. And for some reason, my game had decided to turn it down a little bit. This is a boss room. This is most certainly a boss room. What on earth have I installed here? I am dead. <laughs> it was nice knowing you. We got the eternal boss. It was nice knowing you. Well, this was a fun run while it lasted. This was a fun run while it lasted, wasn't it? I've, I've done like 0.1 damage to this guy. Well, I, I installed a new mod thinking it'd be a lot of fun. Instantly regret my decision. Dude, these fucking balls. They're too fast. I've done like 10% damage to this guy. And he just keeps... Stop firing these balls of flaming fury. I I can't handle this. This is redonkulous. Dude, stop. Stop. You, you can't. I get your eternal, but just calm your passions, my sir. Fuck me. I mean, it is good that I'm spreading a bunch of creep everywhere, but I just don't think I'm going to be alive long enough to really get any usage out of this, am I? Dude, stop. It's just too much. And he drops a troll bomb on me. It's just like, come on. I, I can't even get close to him. This is, this is going to be a very long-winded fight until I ultimately die. Dude, 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 dude. Anyways, we continue. Uh, why? <laughs> that was such a good start to a run as well. Camo undies there was pretty great. Okay, so I don't know if it actually uninstalled because I didn't reboot my game, which means it definitely didn't. So I should actually... We got saw blade though. No, I'll, I'll, I'll forego my saw blades and make sure that mod is uninstalled. One second. Okay, we're back. Let's just start a new run. Clean slate. That was annoying. That mod's uninstalled now. That mod's uninstalled. It's gone. I, I thought, yeah, do you know what? It says, it, it literally did say, ooh, cancer, nice. It literally did say, oh, it includes some wacky challenge rooms. And I was like, do you know what? I'm up for some wacky challenge rooms, but I'm sorry. The eternal boss plus that room, it's not compatible. <laughs> like, I think regularly a look um, a li little horn fight in that room would be reasonable. It wouldn't be too bad, but an eternal one I didn't really consider the fact that we'd be coming across some stuff like that when installing the mod, so yeah, not great. But cancer to start on this run is is a little more my style. I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy about that, I will say. That's a lot of money as well. We might be able to get a similarly good start. I'm just a little sad that we never really got to see the full power of camo undies. Camo undies is a lot of fun. Since it got buffed, I really like it. So it's a little shame that we didn't really get to play around with that much and we get a portable slot here as well which i'm really not interested in i might re-roll if i get the chance but i doubt i will Ooh, can you hear the uh the man with the incredibly small penis driving by i'm not sure if you could hear that but there was a a man on a motorbike driving by um with an extremely extremely loud exhaust proving unequivocally to everyone that he has an incredibly small penis anyways let's carry on 
that was, yeah, that was a bit of, a bit of suck. A little bit of suck to start the episode, but this is why I try, I experiment with new mods. I try new things. Sometimes they don't work out. I don't, I, I do like to at least like experiment and try and play around because we could end up getting things that um, end up being, end up being quite good. By the way, it would cost us soul hearts, so I might see if I get health out of this boss first. I mean, I've already been hit, so that's not a good start. I was going to say, really, you dodged that bomb? Don't dodge this one, please. Um, I was going to say about maybe playing as Sack Room, but I'd, I was just about to say I'd have to get health from this and not get hit on the boss, of which I've been hit twice. Dude, you did it again? Are you kidding me, you little twirly fuck? Stop. <laughs> I'm already angry. <laughs> Isaac has already pissed me off too much today. I am big sad. Don't, don't contribute towards my agony, Mr. Plum. I will grab that. Okay, let's, uh, sack room is plausible. Sack room is plausible. Let's give it a go. I'm just thinking because I got the D6. I got cancer. Could be a full health or a shot speed down. We got the angel deal. Is that good enough? I don't have a bomb. I'm going to say yes. It's not great, but it's good enough. And we got a soul heart as well. Eh, good enough. Good enough. I'm happy enough with that. Um, Do I want to D6 the shop? It's only one item. I'm going to do it anyways. Converts battery pickups into... Uh, Converts batteries into pickups, gets leftover charges from clearing rooms with your foot. Ooh, that's actually kind of good. I'll take that. It's not super great, but this is a decent start. This is a decent start. The battery fella is with us, and we make our way down. Yeah, that's uh, that was a little bit of a horrible start there, but let's 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 just pretend. Let's just pretend it didn't happen, and all is great with the world. We can complain all we want, but it is what it is. I experimented with a new mod. It was a very low subscriber count mod, so I was like, hmm, eh, maybe not. But then I was like, do you know what? Heck, it might lose us a run, but let's try it. And it, indeed, literally the first room that came up from the mod lost us one. So it's like, well, well, well. <laughs> Check out our item room real quick here. I am very happy with my current frame rate, though. My frame rate right now is very nice. Glitter bombs, yeah, it's not that good, but I actually, I will actually take it because I think glitter bombs is one of those things that kind of scales into the late game quite nicely. Because like the more bombs that you get, the more bombs that you use, the more things that you get back for it. It can give you all sorts of stuff. It can give you, even give you golden bombs, golden keys. Which obviously, if we get golden bombs, things get really nice, nice and spicy. We got a dawn mick there as well. Very nice to see. There's a key, and we got a key back out of it. Lovely. I will definitely open that. The key paid for it. 30% uh, chance for black poops to spawn. 5% chance to get a blackout and destroying a black poop. I think that's a very good one. Also, we got the tick and the matchstick out of one chest there. But the black poop is kind of good. It obviously it falls off a little bit later on. Just because you don't get as many poops spawning. But getting chances for black hearts and black poops is kind of good. Especially if you get something like Dirty Mind. Mixed with Dirty Mind, it can be really, really good. Take out the gapers. See what we got in here. Champion belt here, of course, is uh, pretty top tier. We'll try and grab that if we can. In fact, I think we can definitely grab it if we come and blow up our machines here. We have a lot of bombs, so glitter bombs to blow up the machines isn't a bad call. In fact, let's just let's just go for the guarantee, shall we? I realize that this puts my health in a slightly awkward spot. But let's go for the guarantee on the damage. And there you go. We got our health back straight away. We, we might not have been able to make that work otherwise. Shall I open this filing chest? It could give us an item. Let's go for it. It didn't, but it did give us a, a better trinket, what I'd say. Um, and a holy card, of which I'll just pop right now. That's pretty good. And then, yeah, now we've got champion belt as well. Pretty awesome. Pretty awesome. Yeah, my next sort of, based on sort of the question of the day here, my next sort of time out that I, that I know I'm going to really enjoy is in a few days, the Bob's Burgers film comes out. Should, should already be out for you guys that are watching this now. I don't know how many of you have watched the TV series Bob's Burgers, but it is absolutely fantastic. Me and my girlfriend absolutely love it. So we're going to like 
go out and watch it and then like go out for food afterwards and stuff. It's going to be really, really good. I'm going to have a good time. I'm quite excited for it. Quite excited indeed. Yeah, so this guy's going to be gaining my, uh, my additional charges here. Also, now that we have Hairpin, we need to kind of realize that fact and utilize our rerolls when we can. I do wonder how many charges it's going to take for him. I'm guessing it's going to be six, considering he normally eats batteries. I don't actually know if, if he takes mini batteries into account. He might be, uh, he might take mini batteries into account, so it might be less. But this guy's going to split in two. He tried to fart that guy towards me. Not going to happen, sir. Not going to happen. There you go. So, so, yeah, still no payout yet. I'm fine to leave it at full charge right now. We've got eternal versions of these guys. So, looks like the main difference I'm seeing so far is the shot. And I don't think there's actually any change to the creep here. I think with this, the fact that the spikes in the corners of the room here, this is actually a little bit of an easier layout. So, we shouldn't have too much of a problem. And we didn't. And we get Jesus Juice. We are getting damage ups on damage ups on damage ups. And I think because of our health right now, I will check out the devil deal. Uh, a very red devil deal here. I'm going to reroll. I'm not too intrigued by that. Yeah, I'm not too intrigued by any of those, I'll be honest. Um, I will go down this way. Someone reminded me in a comment of something I completely forgot about. Completely forgot about. We can destroy the mirror within these floors to get additional chances for reflected items. I don't know why, but I absolutely loved that feature when I first found out about it and then completely forgot it existed. So thank you, commenter, for reminding me of this fact. I will make sure to try and bomb the mirror a little more often to get more chances for reflected. I can't believe you hit me there. That was quite offensive to me. Right, so yeah, just bomb the mirror here. Cracks it, and it increases our chances for reflected items by, I think, 5%. It's, it's not a huge amount, but it uh, actually it might be 7% because it's like seven years bad luck from a mirror. Um... I can't remember precisely, but it's something around that. And yeah, it's just, it's a nice little boost because reflected uh, items and consumables and, and pickups can be really, really useful. Essentially, it just means you get two of them. Boom, bow. We can get an extra red heart from that, which we can utilize there. Nice. Open for our active item to charge up here. So we actually, hmm. Yeah, we, we don't, we don't want to bother going to our boss room yet. I will take this pill. I'm in a pill kind of mood right now. Paralysis. Um, yeah, I mean, we don't really want to go to the boss yet because of our active current charge. I think, I think we want to play into hairpin. So we want to go to our item room, use our active item, and then go to our boss to get another charge. I think that's the that's the way. Uh -huh, uh -huh, I like it. We are we are on a very strong run right now, though. Apple of Sodom. I do love the Apple of Sodom. I think Apple of Sodom is a, a really fun trinket that kind of changes the way you play a little bit. So I'd kind of be down to grab that. But as I was just saying, I think the hairpin, it lends itself to our current build. And as I said, I'm in a pill mood here. So just do me. There you go. You dropped me a penny for a charge, which is not great. But it is something. I love these spiders. They're so cool. They're very weak, but they're so cool. Take out these dudes first before they do anything. I think there's two of them in the room, isn't there? Or maybe it was just the one. I think it was just the one, actually. It was. Hookworm? Eh. Not really interested in Hookworm. We come in here, and we don't actually need to use our active charge at all, because we got bloody lust. Damage up every time you get... Oh, wait, that's every time we get hit. I'll reroll. And I'm not very happy about that, so I'll take this. Eh, this was not great. Ooh, horse pill, though. Shot speed up. Do you know what, little, little spewer? You ain't bad. You ain't bad. I'm not going to diss you too much. You're pretty cute. You're pretty cute. But that wasn't really what I was looking for. I probably would have been better going with Bloody Lust, but it's just kind of like anything that works on you getting hit, it's like you don't really want to have to rely on that in any way, shape, or form. So it's kind of like I don't really want to take it. But you can see the creep's doing a good job against this dude. Holosta Mia. I love his health bar, by the way. Unfortunately, we would have had a Colostomia item at this point had my uh, my eternal boss fight got, not gone so incredibly poorly. His butt cheeks are glorious. We take him out pretty quickly. Down like a clown. Salty soup's rather nice here as well. And I'm just going to pause one second. 
Okay, let's quarantine you on. Let's quarantine you on. Well, yeah, I know we got salty soup. That's going to lower our accuracy a little bit. It's going to mean our tears go, like, a little bit left, a little bit right, as you can see, like this. But we did get a tears up for it. I don't normally mind it at all. It's not very much of a problem at all for me. I kind of like the fact that Conquest can, uh... <laughs> Ooh, he's taking it. The conquest can uh, can grab an enemy that can't be a champion and make it into a champion. Oh god, these guys are going off on one. They're going loco crazy. Ah, how do I avoid? Holy dude, these things are fast as shit. <laughs> My oh, I thought these things would stop shooting when the room ended. That is untrue. That was determined to be untrue. We'll check out our shop here just because we have close to enough money and it could be Keeper, which it is. Oh, that was a rip. I'm trying to... Dude, I'm trying to get my boy, my lemony boy, close enough to actually do some damage. I will take Steam Sale here. And he, he can just never quite... It's never quite up to the task. It's okay. Our health kind of took a big hit there. It's not terrible. I'm going to try and re-roll him into something else, though. Spewer boy. Uh, it's not bad. It's not bad. But I, I want some damaging. Give me red creep boy. Green creep boy is decent. He's got some range to him. Oh god. We've split into two more champions. I wonder what the chances are of one of those split champions... In a, in a case of conquest, splitting into another split champion, into another split champion. Like, I wonder what are the chances of that happening, like, a few times in a row. I bet it's very low. Attacks enemies from the ground, um, shoots shots, and fills gaps. Do you know what? I like him. He sounds, he sounds good. It sounds like it could be a helpful addition. Now with Steam Sale as well, we're in a pretty good spot for next floor. Oh, there you go, look. Oh, it basically just works like the little tail. Oh, God. Need to stop getting hit in such dumb ways. Especially to champions. Guess a conquest here makes things a little difficult. One thing I didn't think about, by the way, is we haven't... What the hell was that? We haven't actually unlocked the, the red rune yet. So when we destroy these rocks, um, these red rocks, we don't have that chance of getting a red rune. Which is both good and bad, because it means more chance for cracked keys. Which I like. But I do like the red runes too. They are very strong. I am finding the game to be a little less overpowered with all of the stuff from Repentance Plus not unlocked. Obviously, I'm making my way there as we go. I managed to unlock myself a literally pathetic shop. I was hoping this would be something a little more saucy than uh And this, although... Hello... There you go. We upgraded our bad boy there. Drift stick boy has been upgraded. Uh, we can actually take a little look if we want and see what them upgrades do. So if we go over to drift stick here. Upgrades. Sh um, shot amount up. And then also a little spewer. When it throws creep, it fires tears, which depend on its color. Uh, normal fires three. Okay, so let's, let's just take a look at what this does now. Yeah, there you go. It fires three tears. Pretty useful. Makes him a little bit multi-purpose. I like it. Kind of goes against his design a little bit, but I'm not going to complain. I mean, that is me complaining, but... <laughs> oh, yeah, I can see as well our Drift Stick dude's shots have gone up quite a lot. He does fire out quite a lot more now. He's just going to take on enemies, like, on his own, which is really nice. And the filling up gaps thing is also pretty useful, too. Oh, you bastard. That was not a hit I should have taken. Shot speed up there. Okay, and we're good to go for the boss. Let's try and not get hit here. We do have a chance at a devil deal if we're cautious. I don't know how likely it is, but... Oh, dude, you'd have to dive again, didn't you? Come on now. Oh. Yes, the double bomb. You stupid idiot. 
I just told you to not get hit. Wooden spoon. We do need a speed up, actually. Our speed isn't great. There you go. Oh, my God. <clears throat> that was not a good hit to take. At all. Eh. Not really worth doing. Oh, God. Mm, my God, I took another hit. I just need some soul hearts, baby. I didn't think you'd have so much health and your firing creep on the floor and it's getting me hit again. I can see forever's pretty nice. Honestly, I need this. <laughs> as pathetic as it is, I need this. I haven't found any secret rooms this uh, this entire run as well, so that's something else I could be could be doing really. <clears throat> Blackheart's nice. A little bit late, but Blackheart's nice. He's got some slowing tears now. We could again play a sack room. We, we would need a bit more HP than this, though, before I wanted to do it. We got the, the right uh, the right little spe spewer for this floor. Dude, how did you even sneak a, sneak a peek through that gap? <laughs> These enemies are so wacky. Also, my battery charge boy. I have to say, I'm not very impressed by him. I haven't really noticed him drop anything of note yet. He, he did drop a trinket that's pretty good, but like other than that, he's not been very, very good. I thought he was going to be a little more, a little more intriguing than he is. This is also a pretty hard room here. A lot of enemies to deal with. And also, we've got our own slowing creep and their slowing creep, and it's hard to tell what's what. Bomb, bomb, bomb. Is that a planetarium? Is that a 1% chance planetarium right here? It looks to be. It looks to be. I will come back to you, Stargazer. You are uh, quite the saucy boy, so I kind of like to play you. But getting Luna here is really nice. I would like um, some more guaranteed way of um, finding secret rooms. Because I, as I just said, I haven't really been finding all that many. I like that. I'll take it. Okay. Check out this as well. Please be an item this time. Explosivo. Hell yes. Also, 12% chance to give fired tears a godhead aura. Wait. How exactly do I... Oh, I can make it. Good. Explosivo is my kind of jam. I, I'm gonna take the I'm gonna take the tomato. The hairpin's good. The tomato could be better. A little bit extra damage. Twelve percent chance for a godhead aura tier. Doesn't give us godhead damage or herming. Just gives us the aura. But with explosivo, what the? I don't even know what just happened. Where did I get mother spine from? Where did those items come from? Did I lose an item there? If I did, I don't know what item it was. Someone go back and check. I think I lost an item. Oh god. Oh god. That was evil. Need to chill out, fool. Some items in here. Okay, so I'll definitely take PhD. I'll definitely take this. And then let's upgrade you again. Upgrade you again. Right, let's check out. So it seems that our spewer is half and half now. So he can be two spewers at once. And then our driftwood... Shots are now poisonous. Interesting. Yeah, this guy can be two at once now, which seems pretty awesome. And he fires two lots of tears, too. Little Spewer seems good.
Thank you. You were born wrong. Thanks for the vote of confidence, game. Joker. That's rather nice, considering we're li unlikely to get our devil deal this floor. Thank you. I was going to play my uh, Stargazer, but I ended up playing other things. I'm not going to bother going back for him now. Ow, my Explosivo hit me. That was stupid. We've got some interesting stuff going on now. And we can actually pop our Joker and it'd be worthwhile. Pascal Candle. I think Pascal Candle is worth taking. I also think it's worth blowing this up and uh, re-rolling it. I mean, I could maybe go for my Angel Deal, I suppose. I haven't got that many floors to get another Angel. Let's let's do it. Actually, no, no, we're going to go Beast, aren't we? It doesn't matter. We're going to go Beast. Let's just re-roll it. Sacred Orb. Hello. Oh, I forgot that would change our spewers. Still, though, pretty good. Right. I am going to go and play our sack room just because I think that we have a good chance of getting some good stuff out of this. Although, I will say we have just been to our angel deal, so it's a little less valuable. It's a little less valuable. But there's red hearts, like, all over the heckin' place, so it's kind of like... I feel like it's a good idea. So one, two, three... Four, five, six, seven, eight, right, let's open this up real quick, D20, no thank you, um, move that out of the way. Let's quickly just go and grab some health here. We can get you. And there's some back over this way as well. In fact, yeah, let's let's grab let's go grab some of this first. He's filling a lot of gaps over here. Just grab that. And I think. We're, so we're either going to get a lot of money or a lot of soul hearts here, and I'm actually okay with either. I'm pretty happy with either outcome, I'll be honest. There you go. Good stuff. That puts us in a very good position going forward. A very good position indeed. But yeah, if I got, if I got all the money, I would have just played my Stargazer. So either way there, we we're getting a good bonus. Good bonus robots in disguise. I don't know why that came to mind, but it did, and it's happened. I have said it now, and you have to deal with that fact. I do not know the, why I am the way I am. I just am. Right, let's not forget our full card. We'll try and do the beast here. It might. We might end up getting Eternal Dogma again. That might happen, unfortunately. Um, we, we, we'll, we'll guess. I guess we'll have to see. Oh, that was stupid. Walk right into that guy. Just try and go down with as much health as we can possibly get going with. Okay, one secret room discovered for us. Nice. I don't think we have any way to get our thingy here. Temperance, Empress, Tempress. I'm going to go for these as well. Temperance, the chariot. Damn it, I was hoping for one flight there just to get that lunar thing to, for the, get, to get the fire out. I also kind of would have liked to have taken the experimental pill as well. Oh, that guy's a big boy. That guy's a big boy. It's okay, he's got an explosive on him. He's dead. Explosivo is going to be our, our beast killer, I think. There you go. These, these enemies are everywhere right now. We've got a lot of dank going on. There's a lot of dankness here. I could see forever another great pill for us to get, especially with Luna. Okay, we got slowing creep and damaging creep in one. Now that's a good combo. Little spewer, you beauty. Let's time we get this. I will go for a few bombings here. Because we're going to get stuff out of glitter bombs anyways. And we might get some good cards, pills, runes. 
And some black hearts too. And a burn heart if we want it. Actually don't, but okay. Spawns two batteries. The stars. I think I'll just take this, to be honest. I might come back for the uh, extra batteries if it becomes relevant. But right now, I'm just looking for my full card. I need to be checking. To be fair, it's actually pretty easy on Dank Depths because Dank Depths have different uh, skulls. So the the, the um, thing you want should stand out really easily. Should stand out quite a lot. I'm going to get rid of these fires if I can before she drops in. Only one hand. Okay. No thank you. The the bug still still exists, so no thank you. Um. Okay, do you know what? I will take you down to the next floor with me. You're actually really good on the ascent, so I'm happy to have you. No small rock, sadly. Been kind of hoping for small rock. It's sad the Godhead Aura doesn't actually work like that way with Explosiva. I wish it did. Ooh, walked right into that one. Charms on enemies in the room. And I'm pretty happy with the uh, the combo we've got with the little spear at the moment. Slowing plus damaging creep is a pretty good combo. Okay. We still haven't seen anything yet. We've got to make sure we grab that on the way out as well. Oh, there it is. It's right here. We'll grab that. Come back for the soul of Azazel, I think. And then we go in here, kill the boss, full card out. We can't make boss rush, unfortunately. Damn it. You, you charge so slow, my little dude. The red creep disappears so fast as well. We're not getting much of that on the nubs. It kind of works, though. Oh, bad hit, bad hit. It's okay, though. One thing we've got to remember this time as well is we have cancer, so we've got a lot more health than it looks like we actually have. And you are taken care of, sir. Good, good. We did get an angel deal as well. Wasn't expecting that. Unfortunately, we're one charge off of it being perfect, but... There you go, we'll grab that. we got some good stuff here. Now, I've got to think of what's going to be best for the beast. <sighs> I actually don't know. It's a bit of a shame if we, if we had the re ability to re-roll here. Although, does this charge us? Let me... Let me at least kill one of them and see. You're, you're immediately charmed, which I'm I'm very happy about. I don't know why, that, why I would be, I'll be honest, but it's just kind of nice to have you charmed. Does this count as a, a room clear? It does. Okay. Because I actually do want to re-roll all of these. I think we've re now re-roll all of these. So now we take actual Godhead. And I think we take Prism as well. Oh, and we get, we get all of these. That was, that was very worthwhile. So now our trinket's kind of worthless. <laughs> so now we can full card out. We can go back over this way. That was that was a, a a bit of a a bit of a big brain play by me there, and I, I it doesn't even feel like that big of a brain play, but the fact that the fact that I managed to get all that value there makes me happy. That was all down to sacred orb as well, I think. Okay, away we go. We'll see what we get from our little buddy here. And go glyph of balance, pretty nice. Oh, dude, the little snacky boy went right through the prism then. That was awesome. That was pretty awesome. I liked that a lot. Yeah, with Godhead and stuff now, I think we're pretty much good to go here. I think everything is said and done on this run. It's said and done on this run. The prism makes it even better. 
Oh, he died this time around. That's a bit sad. Uh, I'll take Pointy Rib. Pointy Rib is fine by me. And then... Nothing there I, I'm super favourable of. Car battery might have been good. Is there any point? I'll reroll. Yeah, buddy in a box is good. Yeah, this is just a beeline to the boss now. What the hell hit me then? I keep forgetting I'm getting fire rate from um, Pascal Candle, and I keep letting it go. I need to be more careful. Be more careful. Also, I lost my immortal heart, but that's kind of whatever. My little baby won't be with, with me this time, but hopefully we can get a few payouts from him going down along this path. He's always good on the ascent. How could you have spent our savings? What a mean dude. Don't spend your wife's savings. It bad. Little Isaac could have used those to go to college. Maybe he wouldn't be dead inside a chest. Thinking of weird games. And having people that are 24 playing them. For some reason. Strange. Maybe, maybe we are part of Isaac's delusion. There's some of those. Thank you. Oh, dude. He just got insta-wiped. I'm sorry, little fella. I wasn't expecting that, I'll be honest. I really wasn't. Number magnet. It's better than what we had. Why not? So, sadly, no little fella payout this time. For some rooms, it is going to be incredibly difficult to keep him alive in. That's just the nature of this little fella. Oh, you bastard! Ah, I knew this room was going to be difficult to keep him alive in, but I was like, no, we can do it, we can do it. Got right near the end of the room, and of course he still died. It depends how hard of an ascent you get. Some ascent rooms are ridiculous. Some ascent rooms are actually really easy, and I don't know how many of the mods I have add ascent rooms. I don't think many. We've missed out on already a few payouts from this guy, so... And another. Wow, we are not doing well with this dude right now. Oh, God. Uh, yeah. No thank you in a big way. What the hell kind of eternal enemy is this, please? No. I didn't really think about the tainted eternal enemies, and I'm not ready to. Also, I have lost a lot of HP already. I mean, it's not like I've, I've got bad HP right now, but it's a lot more than I should have lost. Ooh. I like the look of this. Reflect all items in the room. Now, I don't know how useful that could be. There's certain situations I can see that being great in there. But I'm not going to take it for now. My soul of Azazel is sticking with me. You're not dead yet? Wow. Who's left? Come on, fella. Stay alive this time. You know you can. He did. He managed it. Yay! He gave him all my health back. This room, he's dead. Totally. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, he's, he's not. My god. He's alive. He is alive. Where the hell's our room? Oh, ho, ho, big fella. Big fella. That's a big explosion. Yeah, that was a big explosion coming your way. Right there and then. Keeping my little ghosty fella alive. Keeping him sweet. Up we go once again. Another reward. The game, kid. I guess I'll re-roll it. Hey! Sty. Pretty good. 
actually really nice. A big little damage up. That big little damage up is what I said there. A little damage up is that is kind of nice. Considering our damage isn't actually fantastic, that's really nice to see. Like, our damage isn't bad, but it's not amazing. I'm going to try and reroll this dude. See what we get. Eh, not very, not very good. Some more money there. We don't really need that. Don't know if I'm going the right way here. But for the best. Oh, we are doing crazy damage though with the with the prison. My game's holding up relatively well too. That's what I like to see. Like I feel like this is definitely a modded room on the ascent. This normally wouldn't be on the ascent, right? And we get one more payout from him to finish us off. Thank you, fella, for sticking with me on all this time. And you gave me the habit. Okay, I'll, I'll think about it. <laughs> um, I'll think about it. Habit, you stay there right now. I'm just gonna see what I get from my mum's chest and see if it's, see if it stands up. Cause I, cause I don't know what I'd rather reroll. Nope, I'll take that. I'll go and reroll Nun's Habit. Nun's Habit's just useless while we got the active we've got. I will try and get the dollar out of this machine. It's very, very unlikely, but just having another thing to reroll would be nice. But I just think, yeah, it's stupendously unlikely. Sell heart to help us out, it's kinda nice though. Come on, dollar. One more coin. Damn it. Oh, that's so good. <laughs> Mask of Infamy plus um, Cancer. We should have a win no matter who's Eternal this time, right? Should be pretty set in stone. Of course he's Eternal again. I need to try and figure out how to dodge his um, thingy attack. Because I bet there is a way, I just didn't see it. Okay, this one. Is there an actual way to dodge this? Yes, but it's very tricky. Okay, get back to the top of the screen. Oh my lord. That is really tough. Thank god he doesn't do it that often. I say that, and he's literally done it three times now. Okay, it's not as bad as I made it out to be last time, but I still don't like it. You've got to be really careful. Okay, first phase done. Second phase, ooh, there's a mum freeze. I like it. Okay, remember this was pretty tricky before. There's, there's a lot of feathers coming our way. Like a lot more than normal. It's actually not that hard to dodge if you're prepared for it. Like the last one, no, it was not the last one. I misjudged the amount there. I think Explosivo has been a big help right here, and also the freezing. Also, we're getting dark shots from, I believe, our buddy in a box. The ones where the hand come up. That's actually really nice, because they do a lot of damage. Like, that, that damage is not tied to the, the buddy. That's tied to the item, so... They're going to be dealing a lot of damage nonetheless. I think we got one more, right? One more spinny. It's always annoying when he kind of like sits off screen like he's doing now. It's like, just stop. You can't just sit off screen, dude. I think we just about got him here. There you go. Beautiful. I think I didn't even get hit on that. That was good. I liked it. Right. Might end up getting some eternal versions of these dudes. We'll see. Yeah, look, we're getting those shots. We don't have that item. It must be our buddy in a box that's doing that. And that's super useful because they do a lot of damage. Hey, you keep the explosive shots on you no matter what, do you? Again, explosive, as I said, super good. By the way, if we do get hit, we do lose a good amount of fire rate, remember? 
Pascal Candle is still in effect here. Hopefully Mask of Infamy can save us from a few hits. Prevent that from happening at least a little bit. Oh my god. That's so entertaining. That was so close to me being hit there. I just kind of stood there and took that. That was stupid. Okay. Are you going to fire your flies at me? But my homing shots are, uh, are better than anything you've got. They keep like falling into the lava and just dying. That's great. Okay, we are wrecking this up. Okay, he's eternal. We use this. I don't know what the eternal version of him does, so I'm just like, no. He could be so difficult. He might not be, but he could be. We lost our uh, holy mantle. Okay, that was nice. I'm surprised he didn't do more when he died there. I thought maybe the eternal version would do like one of those cross explosions. So it is a random chance for each independent horseman to be eternal. I kind of thought like if one was eternal, the all would be. Because it's like one room, but that doesn't seem to be the case, which is good. Because that would be a gauntlet. That would be very difficult. I love the fact that we're getting these multicolored explosions. When the prism procs, we just get like tons of these multicolored explosions. It's so it just so visually appealing. Okay, here you go. He's very dead. This guy is eternal again. Dude, I haven't found the eternal version of this guy to be that bad. I think he does have more HP and stuff. But otherwise, he's not... He has a few additional things here and there, but he's not that much different. I think this fire bit's a little harder. Oh, what the hell? Oh, uh, I just, uh, mom's contacted him and it confused the game. He did not like that. Keep it raining from above. Wait, what? Uh, I was like, what the hell's going on now? And then I, I forgot. He does have this attack he does every now and again. Oh, uh, it's a little different. It shoots out shots when the, fi when the fireballs explode. I might get hit here. Just because these fireballs are a bit menacing. Uh, I don't really know how to perfectly dodge them. The gravity, of course, makes things a little more difficult. And there is an increasing number of them progressively. Oh my lord. It doesn't seem like they all split, to be fair. It seems like only some of them split. There's a few more fireballs as well. I definitely think they could have done more with the Eternal version of this guy. Like, so far, I'm not really seeing all that much different. Which, considering he's like one of the fi final main bosses, I thought he'd be like really wacky. Okay, so I, mean, I think these fires are his. These are a bit different. I know they can't change the fight too much because it seems relatively scripted. There's not much too much they can really change. But it would be cool to see a few more additional things to the attacks and maybe like an additional phase or something. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I may be asking for too much here. Anyways, did it the whole thing. No hit. Got hit my holy mantle once, but apart from that, pretty good. And I don't know if we actually unlocked anything for doing that. I thought we'd unlock a, a heart or something, but... Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I'll see you guys in the next one.